So your llama has rabies. Well, that's unfortunate. This tutorial is not going to help you at all. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at more motion graphics. And this time we're using shape keys to create those motion graphics. So let's get this thing crack a lacking. And we're going to go ahead and hit delete to get rid of default cube because we don't need him. I promise we're going to use him sometime soon. It's been a while, but yeah, okay, just stick with me here. Let's select our camera, left click that, hit Alt G and Alt R to clear the location and rotation of the camera. Hit R, then X on your keyboard, and then on your numpad on the right hand side, click 9 and 0 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Left click to confirm that, and then hit G and then Y to move your camera backwards, and then hit zero to go into the camera's view. Very nice. As you can see, we are all set up now. Uh, we can go ahead and hit Shift A and search for a mesh plane. Hit R, then X, and then nine zero on your numpad. Left click to confirm that, and then now you can see we have a nice little plane. Uh, but we need to be skinnier because I want it to be a nice little rectangle, so let's hit S, Z to scale this down on the Z axis. Left click to confirm that, and then S, X to scale it maybe a little bit longer maybe you want like some kind of like subscribe button or something I don't know what you're making but whatever you're making it's like a nameplate or I don't know who knows but let's go ahead and do that real quick uh, now that's all set up as you can see the only thing that's left to do is use the shape keys to make this appear and disappear as we want it to so first things first let's go ahead and drag open this timeline make it a little bit bigger and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change my start frame to zero instead of one and then go all the way back to frame zero so now we can go ahead and go to the second tab here Right here and then change the frame rate to 60 frames per second so we can see that nice uh, that nice 60 frames motion graphic kind of thing um, after that we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we go to the uh, shape keys tab which is down here which is the upside down triangle hit this little shape keys button twice so one two and then we'll call this uh, drop sure why not hit tab to go into edit mode Click and drag a box over top of the bottom two vertices. You can do the top two, you can do the right hand side, and do the left hand side, top two. I'm gonna do the bottom two for today. So what we're gonna do is with those two selected, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this magnet tool up at the top, it says snap. Click that and then change this from increment to vertex. Now we hit G to move these, uh, these two vertices up and then click it onto these. It will snap perfectly just like that cool so we can go ahead and left click that to confirm hit tab to go out of edit mode and now you can see when we scroll the value of drop up you can see it disappears so what i want is i want this to start on one the value on our zero frame i'm going to hover my cursor over top of the value box over here hit i to create a keyframe and then go to about frame 20 and then change this almost all the way down to like point one and then hit I to create a keyframe, and then go to about frame maybe, I don't know, 70, and then make it all the way zero, hit I to enter the keyframe. Now, when I play this, you can see that it comes down nicely, perfect. Now, we can make this go back up super easy by going ahead and changing my start frame, my end frame, sorry, to maybe 150, like that, grabbing this 70 keyframe, hitting Shift D to duplicate it, moving it to 120, Grabbing the 20, the frame on 20, hit Shift D, duplicate that, put it right here on 140, and then of course the last frame, which is the zero frame, hit a Shift D, duplicate that, and put it on 150. Now, when we play this, you can see that it now comes down and then goes back up, and it comes back down and then goes back up. So it loops and uh, and it looks really cool. That is that. Literally, you can do so many things with it. You can make it come out from the left, you can make it come out from the right, from the top, whatever, what have you. Um, but yeah, that's very, very simple motion graphics you can do with uh, shape keys in Blender 2, uh, it's Blender 2, in Blender 3 uh, Alpha, which is very, very cool. I will see you in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.